Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to this card making project. In this project, we're going to make a gorgeous card using lots of Anna Griffin goodies, but we're actually going to use some of our scraps to make it. And this is a great idea to use any of your scraps. And because Anna's collections will all mix and match and the colours will coordinate, you're not actually stuck to have to use your scraps from a certain collection. So you could use lots of bits and pieces. So everything I do use, I shall put in a detailed list on my blog. So please feel free to check it out. And there's so many projects on there now. There's bound to be something to give you ideas and inspiration. Feel free to share anything from my blog as well in your crafty groups or your forums, etc. If you want uh, to comment and you want to reply or you've got a question for me, always contact me through my blog or Facebook and I can get back to you. I do read your replies and your comments, I'm, I'm saying your replies, your comments and um, the things you have to say on YouTube, but I can't get back to you on YouTube because there's a glitch on my account. Okay, housekeeping over. Let's craft, because this is a really great project. Well, they all are, but this is a paper crafting project, so we're going to do something a bit different. So the first thing that we're going to need is our base card, and this is a 7 by 5 inch card. It's my favourite size of card, and um, I just like this size. I think it works well for beginners or advanced crafters, because it's not too big, it's not too small. You can go advanced, or you can just be a beginner. There's not too much to fill in space. So I've just used my bone folder to make sure that I've got a nice sharp edge at the top. And as always, we're going to do the insert. But I'm just going to put my card to one side for now because we're going to work on the base of the insert before we do anything else. Now, I've already stamped a, a piece of cardstock that fits my card insert. And it's just ivory cardstock and I've stamped using black ink and I've used the 22 clear birthday stamps from Anna. And then I've taken a pen and I've just drawn some diagonal lines um, around the outside of the stamp. And I've just added two little dots at the ends. So it's very simple, but that's going to blend in with the actual design of the card. So then I've taken four scraps of Anna Griffin paper and I've got... if. For anybody who's wondering, I've got two from Charlotte Collection and I've got two from the Rose Collection. I've taken them through my Zyron machine. Now, the only there's no length to them. They're all assorted lengths, but they are an inch wide. So, and the strips, because we're going to do something very similar on the front, the strips on the front are all an inch wide, but I'll give you the measurements. You don't have to be exact and they don't have to be very precise but you know for anybody who is pedantic then you know you'll want the measurements so i'm going to start off and i'm going to take one of the strips that's been through the xyron and i'm going to simply add it to my card uh, my insert and i'm just going to add it on the diagonal making sure that it goes edge to edge like that and then I'm going to take another strip and remember these are scraps so I can peel that away and add that just at the side of the first strip and then I'm going to take another strip and do exactly the same at the other edge there we go and take the fourth strip just for that corner there there we go and then we'll peel that off and we're going to trim those to fit our insert base so we just trim that away there we go and let's take our scrap away so we can see. There we go. Trim. And trim again. 
until we get it all back to a neat rectangle so that we can insert it into the card. There we go, last bit. And so now we've added colour to our insert and it's going to match to the outside of the card. So we can add this because I've already got flat tape on the back and I'll just have to peel the back of the tape away because it doesn't look as though I've prepared this so that's quite naughty of me because I think I like to be able to just peel the tape away without struggling. So I'm just using my little tool to pull the back away and now we can insert it. So we're going to add that just to the centre of the card and that is a gorgeous insert idea. You've still got enough room for your to and your from and your little message and the colour and the strips that are going to match perfectly to the outside. So now we can turn our attention to the outside of the card. Just use my bone folder again down the edge and I'm going to put this to one side because we're going to do exactly the same for um, the, out the outside of the card. I've taken a piece of ivory card stock and I've taken eight strips of card that is um, eight, sorry, eight strips and they're over seven inches long because you want to be able to lay them through the card just on a diagonal angle. Now all the strips are completely different, they're from lots of different collections and they're simply just going to go across the center of our layer and I wanted to do this in real time to be able to show you that you know you can do it yourself it doesn't have to be all from one collection it doesn't have to be all one color it can be anything you've got in your scrap box because at the end of the day we've all got massive scrap boxes and uh, it's nice to be able to dig in there and use them sometimes when we've got smaller pieces left rather than always the larger pieces. So now we've just got on to the end sections. Oh. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim one of these down to add a little bit at one corner and the other corner. So I think we'll just start trimming and we'll trim this one first and then I can add that to that corner like that. And then if I trim this one I can add this to this corner. So then we can turn it over. There we go. And we can trim it down to shape. As we did for the insert. There we go. And I know some of you are thinking, oh, it's a bit long winded. But I wanted to show you the whole process because then it's something that you can try at home and you won't be rushing to do it like I am to, to show it to you because I always feel when I'm showing a process like this I rush a little bit because I'm always conscious of the time. So there we go, let's trim that again and then trim this last edge. There we go, and the last section there. So that 
is our base complete. So if you're not into weaving, then this is a great option for you to be able to make your own base. And I think it just looks really smart and pretty with all the different colours. So now we can add this to the base of our card because we've done the hard work and we can peel away the flat tape on the back that I've already put on pop that on the front like so there we go now the beauty of using it from your scrap box is all the colours with them being anatones will all turn in with everything else that you've got so here I'm using Anna's um, gold foil and I've used one of the all heart dies and cut out the lattice. I'm saying cut out, I've die cut the lattice. And I've just added some double sided tape on the back of it because I'm simply going to add it in the centre of our card over our gorgeous background. And then I've got one of Anna's favourite sentiment stickers I'm going to peel the back of it away and I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the back of this because I want the glue to seep through the back of um, through the lattice and I think I think we might have to oh no um, I was just going to say I think we might have to pass on the glue because I think I was blocked but no it's fine there we go now the glue will seep through and where it hasn't got any uh, tape on the lattice, it will help stick it down. So I'm just going to place that kind of central to the lattice. And then I've taken some of Anna's favourite um, flower stickers. And I'm going to peel the back of them away and add them just around the outside of the sentiment at either side. Now you know I kind of like symmetrical but I'm trying hard not to do so much symmetrical at the moment. So this is a bit of a um, a test for me. So I'm using the same flowers and it's going to look kind of symmetrical but the flowers are just positioned in opposite corners like that there we go and then to finish it off I've got one of Anna's larger bows one of the satin olive bows and I've just had double sided tape on and um, double sided foam on the back of that and that's our card finished so we've got all those lovely layers from the background in the diagonal stripes for the colourways We've got the gorgeous flower stickers around our sentiment and that little touch of gold coming through and then the inside matches perfect to the outside for our diagonal stripes. Stands up easily and it would fit in a normal envelope. The only height you've got really is from your bow and from your flower so you've only got one layer and it's just such a pretty card and I really like the idea of using your scraps in that manner on the background because it just gives it something a little bit different I do hope you've enjoyed this project please, and I've said this before, please check my blog for the projects please share with your crafty friends if you're on a crafty forum or you have your own crafty blog or you're on Facebook etc feel free to share any of my projects because it's nice to reach so many crafters so I'd just like to say thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time